Hey guys, Razorblade Mango here, and just wanted to give my quick little thoughts and concerns about the recently announced Red Dead Redemption 2. This has been rumored for a long time. It's along, I mean, along with a Bioshock and Batman remaster. It's been one of the worst kept secrets in the industry, a Red Dead Redemption sequel. And it finally got announced this morning, which, you know, don't get me wrong, I am very excited to play it. It's probably my, I mean, spoilers for a future video, my, probably my most anticipated game of 2017, in case anything changes right now. Very, very happy about th that it's finally coming out, because I love the first Red Dead Redemption. In fact, it's one of my, if I were to ever, if I ever cared about making, like, a top, 10 games of all time there'd be a, a really good chance that red dead redemption would be in there and along with uh either gta 5 or gta san andreas because another reason i'm excited for red dead redemption 2 is because it's of course a new game from rockstar who are in my opinion one of the very best and most powerful gaming companies out there and that's also a double-edged sword. Uh, for the uh, let's start with the, the good thing, because Red Dead Redemption was a fantastic open-world experience. I mean, they these guys are like the masters of the open world. In fact, they are the guys that pioneered the open-world genre. Uh, it's no secret that a lot of games have copied, straight up ripped off the likes of, you know, GTA and Red Dead Redemption, all these other open-world games that have really, really made strides to advance the genre into what it is today, into the into the huge, 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 huge success and cash cow that it is today. I mean, even the, even recently, um, some games just rip off GTA or just try to make this like they they know the lyrics but they don't know the music, and it's it's a it's a you know, it's it's a common phrase that I say, but it's absolutely true with a lot of cases regarding trying to uh, mimic GTA. Because Rockstar, they they are notorious for their attention to detail. Of course, with I I I read the book um, Jacked. If you haven't read the book, it's a really really interesting read. Uh, Jacked, which is the story of GTA and how that all came together. These guys actually went to the trouble of studying for GTA 4 the traffic patterns in in New York and what what time it was when the sky was a certain way it was just little little stuff like that that really you don't you don't have to do certain things there are there are a number of developers out there view handful really that will go that extra mile to make the game feel that more alive and rockstar is one of them and i heard for gta 5 um there's a there's a video out there i forget what it's called but i'll try to find it so i can link it in the description box where they actually went out there and made all the different areas of of los santos uh, depending on whether you're playing trevor michael or or, or franklin it changes depending the the police respondency or how often they'll respond to crimes is related to which character you'll be playing like in poor neighborhoods if you're playing as Franklin the cops will respond a lot quicker if you're playing as Michael in one of the richer areas the cops will be more forgiving of certain stuff they won't treat you as hostily and it's 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 just mind blowing the little stuff that they put in which of course, now that Red Dead Redemption 2 has been announced for PS4 and Xbox One, no PC version yet, unfortunately, which is what I would have personally preferred, but, you know, if they're, they're, the fact that they're going to bring it out at all, and I have one of the consoles that it's going to support, that's great! I'll buy it! I don't mind playing it on PS4, and hell, I'll probably buy it again if they ever bring it to PC. I still haven't gotten GTA 5 on PC, which is something I need to do. But the other side of the double-edged sword of Rockstar being a really powerful, 
influential gaming company is that they they have the power they have they have that power to have a rippling effect in the games industry because i think as much as i love gta 5 as much as i enjoy gta online i think it's a wonderful deal where all the updates for it are free they've been they've all been free for the past three years it's it's incredible that they can keep that going but what keeps it going is this like this huge 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 microtransaction cash cow which it was one of the first games to really really sell you on those microtransactions in a 60 dollar game and yes i'm gonna go on about microtransactions so if you're tired of me complaining about it tune out because i'm gonna do it for the rest of the video probably but from what i've heard gta 5 the online portion because of the microtransactions they've made like I think it's close to like 500 to 600 million dollars so far from GTA on that's not it's not counting how much of a blockbuster GTA 5 was when that came out I think that made like th like a billion dollars in three days or something like that something crazy in that amount by itself through the microtransactions GTA online has made 500 to 600 million dollars that that is a that is a an amount of money that ea and ubisoft and konami and warner brothers would sell their their testicles to fucking get they would sell out like a motherfucker more than they already have to be able to get that amount of money and i think it's had a rippling effect where companies have wanted to have like you know big successes with their microtransaction stuff and gta online is like the king of that right now it absolutely in the console market they are the king of the microtransaction driven multiplayer uh, arena it's it's i still can't believe that i can't even like wrap my mind around that 500 to 600 million dollars has been made from GTA Online. It's it's astonishing. It really, really is. And that brings me on to my concern for Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, because in their press release, let me get that out. It says that... Oh, where the hell is it? I'm sorry. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm using my phone trying to get this going, so... There we go. Alright, so it says, Developed by the creators of Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption, aka two of the best games ever, Red Dead Redemption 2 is an epic tale of life in America's unforgiving heartland. The game's vast and atmospheric world will also provide the foundation for a brand new online multiplayer experience. So, have that makes me very happy. It's an epic tale of life in America's unforgiving heartland. Vast and atmospheric world. Stuff like that, I know they're going to deliver. I, I absolutely know 100% that Rockstar will deliver if they are going to put as much effort as they did into Red Dead Redemption's single-player component as they did in GTA V's single-player, which I still play to this day and I think is phenomenal. Even if you took out GTA Online, I think this would absolutely be worth more than the $60 asking price. But, that also brings me to my concern that they might focus more on the online component this time around. Because, 500 to 600 million dollars is not a chunk of change. That's like a fucking company philosophy changing amount of money potentially company philosophy changing i don't i don't think and despite me saying you know i hope this doesn't happen i don't think rockstar would abandon their full attention on single player to make room for more another like microtransaction driven cash cow 
uh, online component. At least I hope not, because I, I really do. I really, really think Rockstar is one of the last big titans of gaming. Like these guys, the internet went fucking nuts on Sunday through just one simple tweet of Rockstar with a uh, with their logo with a color palette change. That's power. That is power. Like if Ubisoft were to do that, no one would give a fuck. If Warner Brothers were to do that, no one would give a fuck. But Rockstar changing their color palette to fit something like this, people lost their fucking minds. It sent the internet into a frenzy. And this goes to show that Rockstar, they don't need the press. You, you, Rockstar's like, look, there's a reason why we are so silent about our games. There's a reason that we never really show our stuff at E3 or hold these like big press conferences you know all we have to do is tweet out three things uh an image of the rockstar logo with the color palette the red color palette image of cowboys set against wild west and red dead redemption 2 trailer coming thursday that's all they need that's all they need and i've seen more excitement for this game than i have for a game in probably since fallout 4 was the last time i've seen a game you know with like this amount of thro frothing throbbing excitement behind it and i don't blame them because it's rockstar and rockstar are awesome they 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 don't exploit their franchises they haven't they haven't pumped out sequel after sequel after sequel of gta within a span of like five years in fact it's been Four years since they released their last game like Red Dead I'm sorry GTA 5 came out September 2013 it's been full almost almost four years almost th like it will be four years when Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out that's a good gap that is a gap that I always like to see from companies with their properties with even their games this isn't just properties this is like games that they do so this this proves to me that they've been working diligently on Red Dead Redemption 2. And I'm really hoping it turns out to be fantastic. I you know, I I very I'm very cautious these days about like you know saying, you know, oh, they can't do any wrong. This company is is fantastic when I've been proven wrong otherwise. Um but I will say Rockstar, as far as single player goes, just strictly single player, because there's always a chance they could fuck up the multiplayer portion. Far as single player experiences go, Rockstar is almost nigh untouchable. They can do no wrong when it comes to single player. They're great. And even even the multiplayer stuff, they're great. As much as I'm concerned about you know how how GTA Online, Online success will affect Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, look at some of the other multiplayer modes they've done. They did the multiplayer mode for Max Payne 3, which was great, which was a lot of fun. They had a multiplayer mode for GTA 4, which wasn't you know particularly amazing, but it was fun. I played it a lot with my cousin. So it's a it's a they're really really stellar at providing fun experiences and here's to hoping that Red Dead Redemption 2 is f phenomenal I'm hoping they don't put all their eggs in one basket with the multiplayer component I'd like to see it spread evenly preferably more focus on the single player campaign because that's what Rockstar is mainly known for but fucking 500 to 600 million dollars that's that's a lot of money that that's you know, and that's putting that mildly that's a fortune in microtransactions so yeah we'll see we'll see I, i'm as far as the single player goes i'm extremely excited for red dead redemption 2 and even when the multiplayer comes out i'll most likely play it with my friends because i still play gta online every now and then with friends and we have a we have a lot of fun we have a blast i love that they keep adding modes in for free they add new shit in for free they, they amp up the price so that you can be tempted more with the microtransactions but it's still if i don't want to play gt online 
I can just switch to single player and just blow shit up there and just have a, a fucking grand old time. Even replay the campaign, which I think is fantastic. I don't think the campaign of GTA 5 gets the praise that it deserves. Everyone said it was inferior to Red Dead Redemption's campaign, and, and as someone, even as someone who loves Red Dead Redemption's campaign, I think GTA 5 had a better campaign. That's just me. Um, but I'm also curious to see if they're gonna bring back the the multiple characters thing and whether this game's gonna be a prequel one of the one of the figures in the in the the cover art if that is the cover art looks s similar to John Marston and then one of them looks like the the Bill Williamson guy I guess that you kill in the the fort try to kill the fort at the beginning of Red Dead Redemption so I don't know this could be a this could be a uh, a prequel. I don't know. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping it's you know it's brand new. I'm hoping it's you know maybe limited to like three three playable characters, four playable characters, shit like that. So anyway, those are my thoughts on Red Dead Redemption 2. Really looking forward to it, even with my concerns. So, thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to see, subscribe. Let me know what you think of Red Dead Redemption 2, if you're excited for it. And as always, have a good one, guys. Take care.